Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Back to Our Fantasy Sports, and uh, we're going to be talking about the NBA slate on April 20th, Saturday, uh, the beginning of playoffs. We're stoked. Uh, shout out to Nodnarb86 from Discord. Threw this one on for you, bro. <laughs> and uh, got the got the lights going in the back. That's all for Nod. Um, <laughs> but uh, cool. So yeah, we've got um, we've got a lot to be excited about. The matchups for playoffs are just killer. I'm so happy the Suns got the Wolves in the first round. Jordy and I can't wait for Sunday for the Mavs and the Clippers series to start. There's just a lot of good basketball on the way this weekend. Um, these are the plays we're going to be going with. Uh, I'm taking Grayson Allen, shout out not, uh, over 16 and a half points and rebounds. And uh, I'm going to go with uh, Michael Porter Jr. over 25 and a half points, rebounds and assists. I'm going with those lines on both platforms, underdog and prize picks. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass it over to you, Jordy. Cool. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going with Jamal Murray and D'Angelo Russell's three point combo. This is probably not going to be up past tonight, so you guys should definitely try to snag this. Um, it's for five and a half, so I'm taking that for over for both of them. And then I'm um, taking LeBron James rebounds assists for over. Um, and also on underdog, they don't have the combo, obviously, so I'm just taking D'Angelo Russell's three pointers for over two and a half. Cool. Well, if you guys haven't signed up for prize picks or underdog yet, use the promo code uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, sorry, Jordy, you'll have to go back to that yeah, for a second. Yeah, I'm already on it. You're good. Uh, but uh, use the promo code for prize picks, uh, and they're going to give you a deposit match. For underdog, all you have to do is use promo code backdoor, and they're going to give you a deposit match and instant pick em specials. So you should be getting some discounted plays to get you started that you can apply to uh, this playoff slate. Um, there's a link in the description for both of those if you guys are uh, trying to sign up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a lot of new things on the way um, as uh, the NFL season is slowly approaching. We're going to start covering fantasy football, uh, redraft, and dynasty. Uh, dynasty will probably come first, obviously, because uh, we've got the draft coming up. So we're really excited to get into all that. We have some more news on the way that uh, we'll be telling you guys about soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't mind, do us a favor, like the video. It's the best way to support the channel. Uh, it just helps us get in front of a larger audience. And uh, you guys have been slacking, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, just press the button. It takes a split second. But also, we need to bring you guys a sweep. So you'll hit that like button. Um, we've been getting close. Um, we went like four and two. And then uh, yesterday went three and one. Uh, so let's, let's get a sweep on this one, guys. Um, all right. Uh, speaking of the plays, though, let's do a recap real quick. So in the night video, I took, <laughs> what was that? Keep on getting back doors. I said, speaking of back doors. <laughs> um, so I took a uh, Jose Alvarado over uh, 10 and a half points and assist, man. He got this done at the very last minute. He was playing great. Like I, I'm such a fan of that guy. Um, but he, uh, you know, he, he cashed that three, uh, at the end, which was exciting that put us over the mark. Uh, so he went for 12. Um, and then, uh, in the, day video uh which i ran solo today um so I had, I had both picks i took um i took kevin love i took his points and rebounds let me just double check what this line was at um well I, in the meantime i'll tell you about uh, kobe white who did not show up um but yeah kevin love 10 and a half points and rebounds and it was like the complete opposite of uh kobe white because Kevin Love, this was very exciting to witness. Uh, he played 12 minutes and he went for 16 points and seven rebounds <laughs> in 12 minutes. And uh, he only he only uh, banked uh, two field goals. Uh, the rest were free throws, 10 of 10 from the free throw line. It's just hilarious to me that he did that all in 12 minutes. Uh, but yeah, he cashed for us. Uh, Kobe White, he, you know, they, they game plan for him. Miami completely took him out of the equation, especially in the first half. He couldn't get anything going. He ended up going five of 16 from the field, two of eight from three, um, just a, an all around bad performance from him. And I was sitting here singing his praises, um, but they, Miami just, Spolster is a really good coach. And I, I know that everyone wants to just get all over Kobe White and talk about him selling and stuff, which yeah, he sold in the sense that he didn't, he didn't get it done for us uh, in the prop betting world, but uh, Spolstra is a good coach. He knows how to game plan for teams and, and take their best players out of the equation. And he did exactly that. Um, even DeMar DeRozan only went uh, 22 points, three rebounds, four assists. Um, so yeah, it didn't work out, but went two and one. Jose hit it for us. 
Kevin Love hit, um, and uh, the the person I expect I had the most faith in. Uh, he didn't he didn't get it done. Um, and then um, what did you, you took a uh, you took Hero's assist right last yeah, night? Yeah, I took his assist for over um, what was it six, and he went six. for like nine. Yeah. That that line was ridiculous. So sorry if any yeah. of you guys took the under. <laughs> oh yeah, that's was, not the under was juiced for some odd reason. But yeah, that's weird. Uh, I don't understand that. It's like yeah, dude. Good luck. Hero had a killer game all around. Like that dude played so good tonight. Yeah. Um, he looks all right. great at point guard, by the way. Like, he just stay he there. does. I was thinking the same thing. Um, I'm like, man, he he uh, facilitated great. And I mean, some of these passes. I don't know if you caught the pass. He was driving to the he was driving to the paint, and then he went behind the back out to Caleb yeah, Martin. Dude. It was so beautiful. The yeah, place just did. erupted. Uh, anyways. Very excited to keep going with the playoffs here. Sure. So let's get into these plays. Um, all right, so let's start with my boy Grayson Allen here. He just matches up well against the Wolves. Um, he always ends up having good games against the Wolves. And uh, so if you if you look at, I mean, he's been heating up lately too, but yeah, he's only gone over this two out of his last five games. Uh, but it's a, you, you could kind of see like there's a spike here. You know what I mean? Like he, all of a sudden it's like, boom, he's he's uh, back in rhythm. Um, but if you zoom out a little bit, um, he's only gone over this four out of 10, um, but 11 of 20. So the, you know, uh, the earlier part of this 20 game stretch, uh, he was hitting it a lot more consistently. But here's my favorite part. You know, he's got a perfect record of hitting this against the, the Wolves. Uh, the, the matchup is like, okay, uh, points allowed. The Wolves are eighth to uh, small forwards. He's listed as a shooting guard on outlier, but we know he plays the three more than anything. Um, so I'm going to go off of that. Uh, eighth in points allowed and 13th in rebounds allowed. The reason I wanted to go with the rebounds too, um, not just the points, is the, the rebounds are only four more than the points at 12 and a half. And... Uh, I think he's going to be able to get this done points alone personally, but I want that just extra insurance of rebounds because when he matches up against them, his last two games, he went for eight rebounds and then six rebounds. So um, I, I think that, you know, it only being bumped four, uh, I, I like to take that as well. But I faded the full PRA because it was a two point bump and uh, he's been averaging like one assist against uh, the Wolves. So going with the full PRA, if we take a look here, um, let's see. Averaging 32.5 minutes a game over the last five. And uh, just 2.2 fouls, not getting in foul trouble. Uh, weird, he's been shooting not great lately. So he's been hitting this lately without even uh, shooting that great from three. But we know he ended the season as the best three-pointer uh, percentage in the league. Uh, and he kind of held that title all year. Uh, the only other times it's like he would bounce down to two or three. But overall, he pretty much held down the number one spot all year. So I think that he's going to show up in the playoffs. Um, he's getting 8.8 uh, .8 rebound chances per game over the last five. So I like that it's only a, a four point bump uh, on the rebounds. Uh, so I'm feeling great about this play. If we hop over here to uh, Daily Grind, we can see um, they've got his points pretty heavily juiced at 12 and a half. Um, and then if you uh, add the rebounds on there, uh, it's still juice to go over, so go with your gut. If there's another play you prefer, maybe his full PRA, but the PRA, like I said, is bumped two, and he's only been averaging like one or two assists a, a game, uh, mostly just one, so you'd need him to at least hit that two to give you that value there. But uh, Daily Grind has this uh, juiced at uh, minus 117, so pretty much a 50-50 shot, uh, but I'm feeling great about it. Um, so uh, go with your gut if you don't like it. If you guys are interested in uh, checking out uh, this tool that I'm on right now, the DFS Optimizer, uh, Daily Grind is our, our favorite partner. They've been partnered up with us uh, since the beginning of the channel. And uh, this, this tool is awesome. It's a workhorse for us. You can get 25% off if you go to dgfantasy.com and just use code BACKDOOR. Uh, you can use that code on any of the tools that they provide. They also have an AI slip generator that just like sends you slips. It literally emails you and says, hey, jump on this. It's on Dabble. Jump on this. It's on Underdog or Prize Picks. Like, and they build slips for you. And it's got an incredible success rate. You can, uh, you can see it uh, when you're on there. They show you full transparency of how the slip generator has been doing. Um, and it's also a, a correlation. It does a lot of correlation slips for you as well. Anyways, uh, yeah, link in the description of the video, code backdoor, 25% off. Um, all right, so let's take a look. I forgot to uh, just look at this over under. 214 over under, uh, Wolves favored by one and a half. Um, they're probably giving them that edge uh, just because they're, you know, it's going to be in uh, Minnesota. 
uh, but they've yet to beat the Suns the whole year. So we'll see. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to get too hyped up, but it's my home team. So obviously I'm pretty pumped about this. Um, all right. Moving on to my next play, um, Michael Porter Jr. And yeah, the, the points and rebounds uh, are also at 16 and a half on uh, underdog. So I'm taking that line on, on both platforms. Um, but Michael Porter Jr., uh, we'll go ahead and look at this over under real quick. Um, 224 over under Nuggets favored by seven. Should be a good game. He tends to show out against the Lakers, which is why I like this play. Um, if we take a look here, if you look at his last five, I know it looks a little grim. I'm going with his full PRA because I like the points rebounds. He's been getting a ton of rebounds when he matches up against the Lakers. But uh, the the to add the assist on there, it was one point extra. So it was at 24 and a half for PR, 25 and a half for PRA. So I just went full PRA. Um, the matchup, middle of the road, uh, 13th in points allowed, 11th in rebounds allowed, and 14th in assists allowed. But again, same situation here. If we zoom out a little bit, um, He's gone over this. I mean, it still doesn't look great. Only eight of 20. So go with your gut if you're uncomfortable with this. But um, if we look at the head to head, he's gone nine of 10, you know? Uh, so in, in the most recent games, he went 39 PRA, 37 PRA. And then, yeah, it's right at that line. They 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 line, they got this, this line just perfect at what he's averaging because uh, he's averaging pretty much 26. Um, but if you look at these rebounds, my gosh, I, I love the insurance instead of just going with his points alone because the dude is averaging, let's just look here, 12.8 rebound chances um, over that, uh, what is that, 10 games? Nine games, so eight of nine. Um, so over the, the last nine games, 12.8 rebound chances, and he's grabbing most of them. Uh, 10 rebounds, eight rebounds, 12, 10, 10, seven. Like he's getting a, a bunch of boards. And he actually is doing pretty decent uh, in the assists against them as well. Um, uh, that's points assists. Uh, Anyways, um, I was just going to show you his assists. I do like it. You, you're, you're, you know, you're paying up one extra point to get the assists included. And the last time he matched up against them, he went for four, um, and uh, he had that game. Uh, I mean, that's that's last year, but still six assists. So we know he's capable, um, especially if they start giving him a little bit of attention. So the uh, the full PRA is what I'm going to be rolling with on both platforms. Even though, again, it looks a little grim when you just look at the last five, but it's all about the matchup. Um, so I think that he'll be able to take advantage of this matchup once again, averaging 28.9 minutes per game, 1.8 fouls, not getting in foul trouble, shooting 45% from the field, 13 attempts a game, 34% uh, from three, but we know what kind of a three point shooter he is. Like he can get hot at any minute. Um, and uh, even shooting 34%, still averaging 2.2 three pointers made per game. Um, 1.8 potential assists, like we said, it's not like a big part of his game, but over the last five, uh, 9.3 rebound chances. So I'm feeling really good about this play. If we take a look at, um, actually, let me go over here. If we take a look at Porter on the D, uh, the DFS optimizer here, uh, they've got this favor to go over at 52.69% odds to hit, minus 131. Uh, everyone that has this at 25.5. I mean, some mixed emotions here. Some people have it at a 50-50 shot, but like BetMGM has this heavily juiced, minus 140, Caesars minus 137. Um, so feeling pretty good about this play. I'm um, feeling good about both of these. Uh, if you're interested in checking out this other app, Outlier, uh, they're giving all of our viewers a seven day free trial. It is an awesome app. It just covers everything statistical analysis wise. We can take a look at the injury report real quick. Um, yeah, nothing uh, nothing, uh, nothing concerning for, um, for the Nuggets, um, but obviously AD is gonna play uh, game time decision, LeBron game time decision. They're not gonna not play. They, that's just been their their tag all year but we do have cam reddish out vanderbilt still out so um anyways yeah if you guys want to check this out link in the description check out the seven day free trial and that's going to cover it for my place i'll pass it over to you jordy sweet yeah man um so let's get into talking about this um lebron did just get bumped to 16 and a half on underdog but i still feel fine about that i mean i figured he would anyway um so I'm taking his rebounds assists over 16 and a half. I'll start with him. Um, first of all, let's look at this over under. So this is going to be the last game of the night. It's going to be a good one. They've got Denver favored by seven. Um, I can see that. I can either see a, the nuggets really just taking game one and running away with it. Like, I think they're either going to like win pretty easily or the Lakers are going to get the upset in game one. I don't know how it's going to go, honestly, but the seven point favorite I think is fair either way. So, um, 
224 over under. Um, I feel good about LeBron going over this. I think he's going to be playing his absolute hardest. I mean, he's shown that over the last two games anyway in the play-in and the game before the play-in. Um, he's hit this line four times against them. The other times he's come very, very close to this. But um, I think in this setting, you know, we got a game one on our hands. I think he's going to try to set the tone early. Um, I'm not like the matchup is really tough. Eighth and rebounds, second and assist, but it's LeBron James. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm not even like a huge LeBron fan, but there's no denying what LeBron is capable of. Like if he wanted to, the dude could average a triple double. I think <laughs> like he's just that good at this point in his career. It's pretty crazy for how old he is, but I don't think uh 16 and a half rebounds and assists is going to be very hard for him at all. I could see him getting a triple double. I could see him getting close to one. I could see him getting a bunch of assists again. Um, it just depends how the game plays out, honestly. But I feel good about this line going over. This is more of just a gut play. So if you don't want to take it, you don't have to. It is used to go over at a 50.92% chance and a minus 121. Um, that's at 16, though. At 16 and a half, it is used to go under, just to be honest with you. So if it does get bumped, go with your gut. But I'm going to be taking it at 16 and 16 and a half. No problem. Um, I'll sweat it out. I don't care. But uh, this other play, this three-point combo, I love this play. Um, this play to me just is crazy. Um, they've got this play as the top play on DG for D'Angelo Russell and Jamal Murray. Um, it's a 54.47% chance to go over and a minus 120. But um, honestly, D'Lo could hit this alone. Like any one of these guys could hit this alone. Like D'Lo's gone for five threes over the last two games. He's had some monster performances. Like, he's gone over two and a half threes, 13 out of his last 20 games. In the head-to-head, -head, he does struggle against Denver. Um, you know, I think he'll have a little bit of an easier time because now they're kind of running LeBron at the point. He wants, like, I think he just wants control of the game in his hands so it doesn't get too crazy. Um, but they've been, like, just setting D'Lo up for those quick threes where he just catches the ball and immediately shoots it. So I think we'll see a lot of that again because it does get them in crazy rhythm. Like, when LeBron and D'Lo are able to hit those transition threes, it just kind of opens up both of their games a lot more. So I like him to go for at least, I think he can get us at least two or three threes, no problem. And then all we need is Jamal Murray to pick up the slack, which he's perfectly capable of as well. He's had a slow, like, last 20 games, but over the last five, he's really started to heat up in the threes again. Um, he's gone over two and a half threes. Uh, four out of his last five games. Um, in the last four games, he's gone for four, four, five, and three. So if D'Lo gets, you know, three and he gets four or whatever it may be, I think they can cash this line. He does go off against the Lakers, too. He's gone over this in seven out of 11 head to heads. Um, the last game he struggled in. But, uh, you know, it just all depends how this game goes. You really don't know. It could be a crazy over under game. You know, they could blow this line out of the water or it could be a really slow game where they both go for like you know 80 points going into the fourth quarter and it's just a slow game you never really know how it goes but i feel great about these two lines um these are the two plays that i felt good about like i said this one's really juice so i just kind of i'm taking a shot on this one as well but i do like the stats behind it um it is an easier matchup for jamal murray uh 24th and threes allowed giving up 3.4 so those are the two i like and i'm gonna be going with those cool if you guys want to check out our Discord, um, there's a link in the description of the video. It's about 50 cents a day to join. Uh, just go through that link, go up to server subscriptions once you're in Discord, and then uh, once you subscribe, it'll unlock all the channels for you. Uh, we have a lot of fun in here. We work together as a, a team. Feels kind of like a family, honestly. We've really gotten to know so many people in here, uh, especially, I mean, we're just chatting it up through the games. Uh, so I, I know I said that every uh, video, but uh, do I do have a lot of fun. Um, hanging out with all you guys um, and we've got like a, a section where we share all of the slips that the whole community is getting into so it makes it pretty easy for you to copy and paste when you see uh, a slip that you like and um, yeah it just it it's a lot of fun and the the main value is you know when we ha put these videos out we obviously we can't put a video out every time we see a good play on the board but we do go straight to discord as soon as we uh, see a play that we're liking um, so yeah, if you want to join, we'd love to have you and, uh, we hope you enjoy your weekend and enjoy this basketball and let us know in the comments, um, it, it, what's your favorite team Do you, or like, is your team in the playoffs? Uh, cause I've been catching a lot of heat in the discord for being a Suns fan <laughs> and I don't care. I don't even uh, really have a team anymore. Like growing up, I was a big Carmelo Anthony fan. So I loved the nuggets. 
But now if I say I'm a Nuggets fan, everyone's just going to call me a bandwagoner. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I do love the Thunder. I live in Oklahoma. So, like, you know, that's kind of my team right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm from Arizona, so I still kind of love the Suns. But <laughs> I don't really hold loyalty in the NBA, man. I, I have a football team, but I don't really have a basketball team right now. Right. And I'm just all things Arizona. But yeah. let us know. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let us know what your your favorite team is. And uh, even if even if they're not in the playoffs, uh, I don't know, shoot your guys shot on uh, who you think is going to win it all, because the West is pretty wide open. Um, and honestly, oof, could you imagine if the Celtics end up getting upset by the heat? It, it could <laughs> after happen. That? I, I know mean, you just never know. You never um, know. But That's the beauty about playoffs, man. I'm so excited. It's here. Me too. So, all right, guys, well, have a good weekend, and uh, there won't be a daily show tomorrow. Games start early, so we just want to get this out for you tonight. But uh, we appreciate you guys, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow night. Good luck, guys.